for more anatomy videos please subscribe to my channel learn anatomy with dr tanya hashik hello everyone in this video we will discuss the anatomy of male urethra male urethra it extends from the internal urethral orifice to the tip of the penis and it is about 18 to 20 cm long Male urethra can be divided into two parts that is the posterior urethra which is about 4 cm long and also the anterior urethra which is about 16 cm long. And the relatively shorter urethra that is the posterior urethra it has got three segments that is the preprostatic part, the prostatic segment and also the membranous segment. Next is the anterior urethra which is comparatively longer. It has got two components that is the bulba urethra which is surrounded by bulbo spongiosum and the penile urethra which extends up to the tip of the penis. So first we will discuss about the posterior urethra. So the first part of the posterior urethra that is the pre-prostatic part it is about 1 to 1.5 cm long and it extends from the neck of the bladder to the verimontanum of the prostatic urethra. The preprostatic part of the proximal urethra is surrounded by the proximal urethral sphincter mechanism which prevents the retrograde flow of the ejaculate back into the bladder. Next is the prostatic part of the urethra. It is about 3 to 4 cm long and it tunnels through the substance of the prostate and throughout the posterior part of the lumen there is a midline ridge called as the urethral crust. As the ridge projects into the lumen, the lumen appears crescent shape in transverse section. Next is the membranous part. It is the shortest and the least dilatable part of the posterior urethra. It is about 1.5 cm long. Next is the anterior part. It extends from the membranous part to the external urethral orifice. It is about 16 cm long. It is surrounded by the Corpus spongiosum. Bulba urethra is the most widest part of the anterior urethra and it is surrounded by the bulbo spongiosum. And the external urethral orifice is the most narrowest part of the whole urethra. Next is the blood supply to the urethra. So the blood supply it is through the internal pudendal artery and also through the dorsal artery of the penis. Venous drainage is into the internal iliac veins. Next is the lymphatic drainage. It is into the internal iliac lymph nodes and also to the deep iliac lymph nodes.